So you might be familiar with the clay for diamonds trick, but if you don't know, you can also use this for iron. Um, oh yeah, also hi, welcome to the video, I forgot to say that. Um, and yeah, basically, if you know the clay diamonds trick, this also works for other ores such as iron. So if you go, I believe it's a negative 8 on the iron, um, and you dig down here, you will actually uh, find iron ore, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, and there we go, just like that, I found iron ore, and it's actually 8 main. So yeah, just lovely bowling iron strat. Um, great job, me. So anyways, in this nether, um, I know there's a bastion somewhere over there to my left, but what I don't realize is when I come out over this hill over here, I start my inventory a bit because it's a literal mess, but um, when I come over here, I see this fortress, um, and this is kind of a mini fashion because there is a treasure bastion over there on my left. You really can't see it, but there, I, I e-raid and know there is one over there. So now this is kind of a crack seed, um, and yeah, and because there's a warp forest here, what I do is I do a pearl hang. So, um, okay, I threw a pearl. So I first killed this enderman. Well, I, I looked at the other one that's over here. And the funniest thing happened. So I pick up uh, the pearl here and I throw it. So I try to place down this, uh, what is this called? Warped roots. But I ended up picking up the pearl and then throwing it, which was really stupid. And the enderman almost killed me, but I placed the warped roots down. And luckily I have fall armor and this guy drops the pearl regardless. Um, so that's a nice one and four. Um, and then I come over here to this hill and I just throw my pearl in this direction. Um, and now I have a pearl hang. Basically what this strategy is, is this pearl is in an unloaded chunk, meaning it will not land unless I increase my render distance to load that chunk. So I can run over to the treasure bastion right now, trade, and load the pearl and teleport back there, which is very convenient. Also, what's really funny was while, while I was in this treasure bastion, I come over here and there's there's just some dudes stuck in this hole that naturally generated in the treasure bastion. So there's like four of them at least, which is I think is really silly. So usually um, my trading hole is over there on the right on the other rampart. So these guys being in the hole is pretty stupid. There's like a ton of them too. Um, and also this treasure is rolling me really hard, but like still, this is really funny. There's like a good like, like 10, 5 piglins in there. Um, which is really hilarious. Um, anyways, this stupid crossbow guy would not, like, pick up gold or whatever. Like, I would throw the gold, and this guy would just forget he had eyes. Really annoying piece of garbage. Um, eventually fell in the hole. And now I have more piglins in here, because I have no gold. As you noticed from the rampart on the other side there, um, I didn't get a single piece of gold out of that thing. I got one gold block, which is horrible. Um, and I'm waiting for this stupid idiot to get up here, but this guy forgets I exist, so I just lava about get him to death. Yeah, this treasure bastion sucked, and it's really just making my my fashion really horrible. Why are there multiple of them? Oh my gosh. And because of my stupid treasure bastion, I get only single obby, 14 obby, which is not enough for 200 nether portals, and then I get the 1.2k blind. So basically, I am big screwed, which is great. So unfortunately, also sick MLG there, but unfortunately I only end up in the stronghold at about 25 minutes. Um, I hear a bunch of NCs around me, so I quickly block myself off into this hole here to do my uh, preemptive. Um, and the stronghold is very chaotic. There's this random cave. There's five creepers. Um, and a spider. And this water. Um, I try to make my way to the portal room, and I find a library instead. Uh, I jump down here, and I don't find anything. Great job. Uh, one creeper is right there. Quickly crit it out, and there's the portal room. Yippee. On run 227, I spawned on this random island in the middle of nowhere, and if you see over there, that is a fortress. So, I, I know I have to make it over there. Um, I didn't find a bastion on my, um, what do you want to call it, the E-Ray, or the pause thing. So I started making my way over towards this fort. Actually, I'm trolling. I E-Rayed. I actually didn't E-Ray whatsoever. I just looked around and saw a fort and never bothered to check that there was a bastion. And spoiler, there actually was a freaking bastion really close by. So great job, me. But from here, I take these pearls and I just 
Pearl hang to the fort. Same drill as last time, and there and then I run into the Bastion. Because obviously going Bastion first is slightly like less risky and stuff, so yeah. I also do a new boat strat I learned, where if you do this, if you you can sprint while in a wall, and you can see I can actually travel very quickly through this wall. So in the challenge, oh, and then it stopped, but in the challenge I used to, this is what I usually do in the challenge. As you can see, this is very slow, I'm traveling very slowly. But you'll see the difference. When I'm sprinting in the wall here, um, you can visibly see that I'm much faster. As you can see, I'm traveling through this wall at very fast speeds. So it's a new strat I learned recently, and it's really, really cool. Unfortunately, it's another treasure bastion, my least favorite bastion of all. And even worse is that I have uh, two fish, or sorry, three fish in total, um, which is really bad. So I actually end up by boycotting 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 the bottom and going straight up to the top here um because um so i so the thinking behind this play was that like the bottom is really easy to die on and i don't have a ton of food because i have no food i'm like really scared of like taking damage so i just play this super safe um and that's why i started up here so i end up getting the trades i need um i have uh, 16 pearls, uh, 2 stacks of pearls, string, 1 fire is only, which is annoying, but I can make it work. Um, I'm actually scared if my pearl will land in lava, so I drink my fire as in advance. Um, and for, it doesn't load for a long time, it does eventually. I threw it at a huge chunk of terrain, like, originally, so there's literally no point in drinking my fire as. Um, but I did anyway. And note that I have, like, one cacod, um, some carrots I didn't make into gold carrots because I didn't have any gold to trade in the stupid freaking treasure bastion. So I didn't make them to gold carrots. Um, if I had extra gold, it would have just been fine, but, like, I couldn't do that. Um, and now I have literally no food left other than, like, a carrot, which doesn't heal you. Um, and a suspicious stew, which could be saturation or poison, and if it's poison, it would be really bad. So I eat it. Do I eat it? I should eat it. I don't know. I don't eat it. Never mind. Um, I take more fall damage. Great work. Um, and instead of purling onto the uh, pillar, as I normally would do, I stack up manually, just so I don't have to throw another pearl and waste more food. But now I have to do the entire fort split without... Um, eating much, I have to like take like almost no damage, uh, which is kind of difficult. But um, let's see if I manage this. Do I eat this too? I, I want to know what this gave me. And I got a skull. Great. So normally I would wear it here, but the issue is because I have no food, I want the helmet on just so I can like tank that bit more damage and health. There's a double spawn in here, which is really annoying. I get. Oh, I get lucky, I get saturation from this thing. Nice. Um, so now I'm basically back to full health and saturation, which is amazing because of the stew. Um, but I basically have no food, and my fire res is going to run out eventually because um, I drank it early as like an idiot. So this is going to be really fun. Let's see if I can do this four split with no food and not end up dying. Oh yeah, that helps. So my fire res actually runs out. Um, which is really bad, so I have to literally swap to a shield. Um, and I still am not taking any damage, which is actually kind of impressive. Usually in Force Wars, I take crap tons of damage, even with Fire Res, so that's pretty impressive for me. Um, also very lucky is the fact that this these two spawners are somewhat, like, covered or, like, protected from other parts of the fortress. So it's hard for other blazes to snipe me. Um, which is really convenient. Um, and yeah, I, I think I, I, I get 7 rods here, which means I can literally just leave. So I run this way to get to better blind coordinates. Um, and once I'm out of the nether and I'm in the overworld, my food situation is basically good. Um, because I can cook, like, uh, mobs that spawn in the overworld. Uh, for example, here in the nether, also I get 19 obby, which is really annoying. I don't know, so I just, I see with the skeletons, I just nope out of there. But, um, in the nether, it's really hard to get food. So, um... Just getting to the overworld makes it a lot easier to get food. Also, I got, almost got sniped by a blaze. I don't know where that fireball came from, but yeah. But luckily, I am now out of here. Goodbye.
and there's our place. Wonderful. What's even better is that while I set sail over here, I see a village. Um, I don't know why I turned my Aegis to 50. No, I can't see. Dolphins, that might spawn in my face. What an idiot. But there's a village over there. Villages are very useful because I can punch like like three hay bales and have like enough food for the rest of the run as opposed to like killing like a cow or a pig which takes like some time um and i save and quit for no reason <laughs> i messed up trying to press options um and yeah the village is just really convenient place for me to just run over there and take some food so thank you village stronghold's pretty cool i dig down into the starter staircase and i see this Luckily, I dug next to it, but I had a water bucket regardless, so I wouldn't have died. But, um, that was scary, alright. Um, I don't know why I grabbed beds from the village. Very weird play, I'd say. Um, but anyways, why wait for this lava to drain? Because it does have to drain, as you can see. Um, I sorted my inventory a bit, which is a pretty nice play. Um, lava finally drained, so I can go ahead and just do my preemptive. So yeah, what a nice greeting to the stronghold. Anyways, this end uh, one cycle ends off with this very funny looking one cycle involving three different colors of beds. Um, and in addition to that, it's actually a four bed, which I think is really cool. Um, and that ends up the run with a somewhat fashion um, and a 30 minute time. Not bad. I'm digging down, I do my strat with the water bucket, but unfortunately, I, for some odd reason, um, pick up the water here when I see the lava, so I end up falling straight into here, and I almost thought it was die, but I somehow managed to climb up the subsidian and place the water down. So I'm alive, great stuff, um, and I don't think I have a lot of food this run, seeing as I had to resort to killing chickens. Usually when I resort to killing chickens, um, I have a horrible food situation. So on this same run, 228, if you look at my inventory here, um, my Bastion, I kind of got unlucky because I don't know why I have this broken bow. But, um, I only got 16 and 5 pearls from the Bastion, so normally I like to reserve 16 pearls for the end fight, um, and the end portal. The end portal obviously can take up to 12, and then in the end fight I kind of want to throw, like, 3 pearls around. So I have 5 pearls left over for throwing in the Nether or the Overworld. Um, and I kind of have to save these because my fortress is a little far from here, and I don't really want to waste my pearls, because if I hit, like, a huge lava lake, and I can't throw pearls over it, it's a major time loss. If there's somewhat terrain... And I can travel quicker than just swimming in a lava lake. It's amazing. Um, but while I'm running over here, I actually end up noticing a bastion over here. Um, and this is perfect because now I can pearl over to this bastion. Um, keep in mind that the fortress um, that I was traveling to was like somewhere to the left there. But I just come over to this bastion here and I'm like, okay, yeah, hi guys. So I'm just gonna like uh, trade here and get some pearls and then I'll be on my way. And that's exactly what I do, I just come over here and start trading, which I think is really funny. The Bastion ends up giving me all the pearls I need, I now have two stacks, so that means I can throw like 16 pearls plus another 13, so that's amazing. But anyways, this Bastion is really great and gives me more pearls than my original Bastion, which is obviously amazing. Um, I try to get some more Fires, which is accomplished very well. I don't know why I'm taking so long here on the trades. I literally don't need anything now. I'm like completely fine. Can I take more string though, alright. Alright, amazing. 18 wool. I am out of here. I have literally like 20 anchors. This is great. What? Just leave! Oh my gosh. Alright, okay, there we go. And um, after this little bash and pit stop here, um, I'm able to continue my journey to the fortress. <laughs> yup. Anyways, this fortress is incredible. The spawner was actually like goaded. Like, can I just say it was insane? Um, I have like 20 anchors or something stupid. Um, but I do a blaze bed here, which is basically you blow up a bed near a blaze spawner, and what this does is it clears out more space for Minecraft to realize, hey, I can spawn a blaze here or the blaze spawner. So when I blow up this bed here, placing the nether brick on top of the bed, as you can see there, um, it will protect the spawner from the bed explosion, but the bed explosion will um, affect the other blocks in the area. So this is just a very convenient way to get more blaze spawns. Um, I quickly pick up this uh, lava source. 
And this spawner frags out, like can I just say it frags out? What's really cool about the spawner is that it just gets me so many spawns. Also, where is this lava coming from? No, it's still draining, okay. This spawner frags, also my raids are insane. I think I've killed like, like, yeah. I just killed the first round of blazes, another round of blazes has spawned in and it's four, which is amazing. Five rods already. Um, and the spawner spawns again right after killing those blazes. Spawner's actually cracked. Uh, gives me another rod. Start building with obsidian for some reason. Um, and I'm out! Seven rods! GG! Like, this spawner's actually fragging. Why am I killing more blazes? And yeah, just incredible spawner. Thank you. It's Far Cry from one of the other spawners in Run... I don't know which one it was. The last video where it wouldn't spawn at all for two minutes despite me blaze bedding. So this is such a good... Oh, the eye went to wall. Never mind, it didn't. Nice. And finally, during the one cycle, um, the coolest thing happened. So the dragon actually ends up perching here, and I think I'm going to miss it, but I place this respawn anchor here, and it actually uh, pushes dragon up. So notice that when it get to the uh the fountain here the dragon swing is really low it's in fact in the respawn anchor here so if i would have placed a bed the dragon would have eaten the bed but the issue the thing is right the, not the issue the thing is respawn anchors are like dragon repellent so if you notice when the dragon goes through obsidian pillars or endstone those blocks don't get eaten by the dragon um respawn anchors are another type of block that doesn't get eaten by the dragon so I place a respawn anchor and I can blow it up because the dragon actually can't eat it. So I place some respawn anchors down and I knock the dragon up um, and I switch my bats and kill the dragon. And just like that, the respawn anchors save the run basically. Um, if like, if say like I didn't have the respawn anchor and had to use only beds, it, it would not have worked out well in my favor. So yeah, great respawn anchor play. It's a, it's a great job. It's a great thing to have respawn anchors. Cool. Anyways, on the next run, 229, I had um, this first ravine oh, um, go down to here. And then the second ravine puts me straight into a lava pool there's and diamonds. diamonds. So yeah, what a great ravine. Um, also, I think there might be lava under here, so I quickly place water. One time. But there isn't. And unfortunately, the diamonds won, which is really annoying. Cringe. Um, one diamond can only make a shovel, and I really don't need a shovel. Um, what's even what's one useful is, is this is gold ore. So I'll pause right now and explain my gold ore strategy. So you might see in speedruns, uh, speedrunners breaking a gold block to aggro piglins. Now the issue with the gold block is um, if you lose this gold block, um, you're losing nine gold ingots, which is obviously ingots you can trade. The thing with gold ore is that when you break a gold ore, it actually aggroes piglins the same way a gold block does. But the thing about this is I can just throw it and leave it on the ground and not worry about picking it up, which basically means I can play more aggressive with this gold ore. In addition, um, if piglins are attacking me, instead of throwing out ingots and forcing them to like trade with them, and like because usually I don't go back to where I threw them out, I kind of lose on those trades. Gold ore allows me to throw this and I don't even care because they don't give you anything for like picking up a gold ore. So this is a free way to um, aggro piglins and distract piglins. I also come over here and it actually is um, a fashion. Um, a fashion basically is Minecraft speedrunning lingo term for a fortress next to a bastion. And so don't because the fortress is kind of in my way to the bastion, like I kind of have to go through the fortress first if I'm going to get to the bastion, I decided to run the fortress to first. To. So this way I'm not really like oh backtracking or anything, um, per se. Nice, good job. Nice, good job. I try to flash slabs and I end up throwing the cobblestone oh. straight out of the crafting interface. Um, and I simply do my four first this here, and um, this is has the opportunity to be kind of a fast run. Not personal best pace, but still a pretty fast run because we have the two structures close by. It's really nice. I get bullied quite a bit in the blaze it. fight and almost die because a blaze cut has started like meleeing in my shield. Um, so I have to make a wood axe, which is kind of unlucky. How much durability this stone? I still have a stone sword with eight durability though, which is pretty nice. But there are more blazes. There's a lot of blazes oh actually. And yeah, this blaze fight is really scary. As you can see, I might die here due to the sheer amount of freaking blazes. Um, but luckily with the shield, I jump, crit, and then block. 
and it gives them a little tiny window for them to actually kill me, which I think is really nice. Thank you for blocking the shots, good blade. So if I keep blocking and hitting, it's very rare that they'll kill me. Let me out of here. I should get enough rods here, so I quickly break the spawner and just run the heck out of there. There's also a double spawner, as you can see. Anyways, while I'm about to reach the bastion, this stupid thing, gas shoot me, actually. It's not smart. shoots me. Yeah, oh god. And I deflect the shot. Thank goodness. If I didn't deflect the shot here, I would have gotten knocked straight into that the That was really risky. That was a life death situation. Um, right and I'm on this tower here, which is kind of annoying. This one unfortunately hits me, and I block clutch. I would have, I would have died if I hit the bottom anyways. But this was still really scary. Block clutch, maybe. Um, I, I could have been knocked into lava there. So arguably, at this point here in time, um, it is I, I, I could have just jumped for actually, the bastion, although. Where? Yeah, I definitely could have jumped for the Bastion. I was definitely close enough. I could have just jumped and block clutch on the side. There was a lot of there's a lot of free real estate to clutch on. Unfortunately, yeah, I run backwards because I'm a coward. Um, also, you can see there's a lot of things up there. They could have also blazes could have shot me off here. That was really risky. That was a thin life death situation. But right there. yeah, this gas scared the living daylights out of me. Luckily, yeah, when the gas rises out of lava, shaking its gas. head for some reason, um, I wait until it's within uh, my Y level and attacks me, and I just quickly kill it. And now I can finally safely make my way over to the Bastion without 40,000 gas nice. wanting me dead. And I kind of, of just play safe, because of course block oh, yeah, clutching okay. has a risk to it. Sometimes you can like get the wrong angle, or your shield can activate a bunch this of stupid housing. times and you die. So, it definitely so generally, if I if the block clutching isn't necessary, just don't do it. What's really cool in this run wow. is um, I first oh, one eye uh, my the... first portal swam me in a cave. So I it makes sense through one eye, and then I looked at the yeah, general angle and built another course. portal um, yeah. in that general angle. I don't know if pearls, though. Um, and when I got out, I threw one eye for perfect mm -hmm. travel. So you don't know what perfect travel is. If you look at an eye like very closely. It'll point like the it'll, it'll give you a very exact angle at where the stronghold is, and um, th we have calculators allowed in speedrunning for whatever reason that tells you where the stronghold is um, based on the angle. So using one eye to get the exact chunk is pr significantly oh, rare. Pearls Usually you need like two, um, depending on how accurate you are. Most, like, most people still use two, even if you have a uh, uh, perfectly yeah, exact like angle on the first throw. Way. You still need like another eye usually, hmm. but because I'm really close to stronghold here, um, it's a hundred percent just right here in, in my face. And I only have to throw one eye, which is great because now there's like no risk of the eye breaking. This run I go for a zero cycle, which is you see, which is you pearl onto a tower Ooh, and kill a dragon that. while it spins around in the air. Um, this tower was a T91, so a T91 actually is um a bit difficult. It's not. That hard, but it still is a tiny bit difficult. I am actually, I actually got to the tower pretty quickly, so it's definitely really safe for me to go uh, zero the dragon, anyways. This one. But I get scared here for whatever reason and just drop. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm I just cowardly just stopped. No, I'm um, this is arguably zero. a pretty easy zero, and it also has That's a very zero. high chance of actually like hitting. Anyway. Like, the dragon has a low Although chance I think of flying I was away on this tower, to it. so it's kind of unfortunate that I, I, I did make too many mistakes there, but it's still just that that zero That's terrifies the living heck out of me. I think at this point it wasn't um, really skilled at zero, so it was kind of afraid of doing the T ninety one. Anyways, remember the last run where yeah. the respawn anchor came in clutch? Well, here I see the dragon yeah. perching, and I'm like, oh shoot, I need to get over there asap. Um, and again, yeah, and the dragon clutch. is. Uh, I wouldn't say it's too low. It's kind of low, but not that low for a bet. Um, but again, I use a respawn anchor. Respawn the great thing about anchors is bro. you oh know for a hundred percent chance, a hundred percent that it cannot like get eaten by no, the dragon. I lost uh, so the next run is yeah, very interesting. Um, so if you don't know, it's because I'm we'll back. My average speed run time is actually, I think, at this point around thirty six minutes, which is pretty impressive for like a seed I've never played before. Um, and so far I've only had, um, I think two or three runs go over the time of one hour. Um, and I generally don't like one hour because this thing like increases and there's like a one there, which is really ugly. <laughs> I don't know. There's so, like no, I don't see this any one iron. almost goes Bad really wrong. Iron. And, um, it started off pretty normal. I just had this very interesting ravine here. Um, and I decided to I get like jump mobs there, by the way. But, um, I needed iron. I usually want five, sorry, eight, eight iron for a bucket, pickaxe, 
Flintsteel and a shield. Okay, we're if fine. I, I roll a fortress. But anyway, so far the run goes pretty well. Um, no, it does not go pretty You're well. I, I literally fall down and die. Um, it does not go pretty well. <laughs> it goes horribly. I, I almost died of fall damage, which is fine. This is like right it's next a block to block, and I don't really care if I die here. I can get back really easily. But yeah, that was funny. Um, but anyways, I get my eight iron, and I'm ready to leave this. Uh, ravine. So, okay, so when you hunger reset with the flint steel, you usually light at your feet, um, and then punch it out, because if you don't punch it out, your stuff is gonna fall in the fire and just burn. So, the, uh, in Java, um, y if you stand in fire for less than a second and punch it, it out, or get out of the fire, you actually don't catch on fire. And in order to hunger reset efficiently, you need to punch the fire out, but still remain on fire. Um, so you can die, and then there won't be anything at your feet to burn your stuff. So, that's what I need to do. And I decided to die to fall damage there instead, because there's a lesser chance... Um, wow. wow, nice hockey, hockey challenge. A lesser chance yeah. I die to uh, the fire there. Because sometimes I'll, like, you take two ticks from fire, but it still doesn't, like, leave you on fire. If, if that, that was horribly worded, but hope you know what I'm saying. Anyways, uh, um, I dropped down into this water uh, okay. here. Um, and there are well, four skeleton skeletons. Wow. Um, so I come over here and there's uh, oh, even more skeletons. Great. Here. But more importantly, but there's, there's some lava. No, this is actual lava. Amazing. Okay. Lava um, and I also find this gold here, which again, like last run, is useful, so I mine it up. And um, I don't really actually. include yeah. Bastion Splits because they're really boring. Because I there's been like That's 229 deep, near identical Bastion Splits. Um, yeah. So I really just don't care. I get back predict another. the future here. Uh, how do I stop so this? How do I, stop I see this lava on my portal, and Beautiful usually wall. you don't need to protect your Beautiful. portal unless you die, right? It'll work though. But gonna work. I had a feeling that I was gonna die here, so I protected okay. my portal from really lava. Short. Um, and this ends up being very clutch. Anyways, there is no bastion anywhere, so I end up going to this fortress that's on my pie chart. Um, which is significantly far. I don't really like going to fortresses that far, but eh, who cares. Um, there's some hollands there I can take for food. So, so over the run okay, going so pretty going nicely. That no, I missed the block clutch. How could I? Oh gosh, it's raining. It's raining, dudes. Yeah, um, and what the heck just hit me? Did someone cost on me? Dude. Also, this is very intense. There's like 50 piglins Gosh, everywhere. This is, this is so uh, stressful. Um, I, I almost saw a gold ore here, and I think I'll, I decided to do it here because I need to stack up, Gosh. and they I don't want them to crossbow me off, so I distract them, and they can't charge the crossbow, and I'm out, which is a pretty good Gosh, play. Pretty good. Um, I E-rate, and there is Bastion destruction for whatever reason. Treasure or nutty fashion. Um... Because I, I did it eventually pied R and found a fortress in the structure, so I don't know how I e rate about it. Wait, where is this thing? Uh, wait, let me just check. Is this is this fake? Um, I have... No, it's real. It's There's 90... If you add up these two numbers, um, and this is uh, 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 less than this number, then you have a Bastion. Because this is despawnable entities, and this is total entities, and Bastion entities cannot despawn. Like but, um, launch, yeah, launch. so I somehow find a Bastion running over to this fort, which is Probably nice. a treasure, a treasure, right? Okay, let's see. So, this actually ends up not being a fortress, good despite stuff, my inability to E-Ray, uh, I'm, I'm a Bastion somehow. I There's literally find nothing that Troll can fall through. That is a Thank Bastion, you. and I didn't have any... Okay. Whatever, I am weird. But anyways, Treasure Bastion, woohoo. I hate these Bastions. Um, as I've mentioned in this video already, I think like so far, like all the bastions in this board, video are yeah, treasures, which is hilarious. So go through but I modified my treasure route to check if there's a chest here, and instead of chests, there Gosh. are 20 bajillion mad piglins. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So the run proceeds pretty normally. Great. I find the fortress at 22 minutes, which is really nice, really fast. Um, and I find a spawner. No, I don't. I don't find a spawner. Never mind. And so far, this run looks pretty normal, right? It's actually pretty fast pace. This is on pace for like a sub 30, which is pretty fast. Obviously faster than the fast, 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 jeez. Obviously yeah, faster than the game. average it's time for a speed run, which is amazing. Um, and this run actually goes very normally. I actually play the fort nicely. Um, I do everything pretty nicely. It's pretty normal until... Uh, until I'm traveling over to my blind coordinates, straight this way. So, possible. 
Um, I pearl. I see some hoggles over there, which is pretty normal, I guess. So I pearl over here. There's a lot more than I saw. I only saw three now. There's like four of them. And I tried Genius. coloring up here, but they oh, knocked no. me into this lava, which is fine. I have fire res. I can just yeah, jump into the lava and eat a pork chop. And this happens. So this is really stupid. I'm just saying. So first of all, Genius. I mess up this blocking. I actually didn't mess it up. They would have just there. There's four of them, obviously. Oh, but gosh. um, I yeah. jump down into here, jump to lava. and the first hoglin hits me. The second hoglin gets. Bounced off the first hoglin. So if you see, if you don't know about entity collision, you can see that this hoglin visibly hits this hoglin and comes out into lava here. And this other hoglin does the same thing. They literally formed a freaking bridge Jeez. of hoglin bodies oh, to come here, yeah, I'm to which was absolute time. BS. Like I swear. Um. Jeez. And my reaction is oh, hilarious. Yeah, okay, I'm trying to jump to lava. It's fine. What? What? Dude, <laughs> that is unbelievable. Oh my god, I'm not even mad. That's funny. That's funny. Except the other issue is how do I beat this seed? Because I don't know what I'm gonna do. There was an alternate bastion. I know that. I know that these are the cords of a um, of a fort, where my nimbin bot is. These are the general cords of a fort. Negative three hundred one oh one thousand. There's a fortress there. Um, see, the only issue is I have no food. I no, I spawned in a crimson, don't I? It's almost the same thing as starting a new run, right? And what's really bad about this is I'm kind of just like starting a whole new run. And notice that it's taken me 27 minutes to like get to the blind core of the stronghold. So the run would take almost about 30 minutes. So now the issue is, this seed is going to be, so the new, kind of the new seed, I'll, in brackets, I'm playing now, is technically worse than my old one, because I've traveled to the closest bastion and the closest fortress to that. That means I now have to travel to the second closest bastion, um, and then travel to the fort, which might not be in the same direction. I do save time because I have stronghold coordinates saved, but... Again, I have no food in this overworld because I already killed the mobs around me. So it's going to be very hard for me to sub hour from here on. In addition, I died like really deep in a lava pool. So there's no way any of my stuff survived. Even if I did, I would have to travel about like 1,100 blocks in nether, which is obviously painful. So this is going to be really hard to sub hour, which is where the video thumbnail is. Can I sub hour the seed? Can I clutch this up? We, let's find out. So I managed to get 8 iron out of this ravine this time without falling and landing on half a heart. Hey, which is pretty convenient, I guess. Um, and I Short simply time. make my way over here. I already have um, a furnace hey. already made. Where did that Bro, come from? Chill. Wait, where, where did that where, come from? Where did that come from? I have a furnace from? made so I can save on mining a cobble, which is pretty nice. I'll take all the time. Dude, to from get. where? So the overworld goes pretty cleanly. I get some extra gold ore, yeah. um, as I mentioned before, the gold ore strat. So I'm not, I'm, for some reason, take that. I don't really need that. Um, yeah, there is right baby zombie behind me? Question mark. But yeah, anyways, okay. I just make my way to the Nether portal again. There's another time save here, which is I don't need to. Um, I don't need to make the Nether portal. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, I don't I grab really a lava bucket here, and it's very important for me to get a grab a lava bucket because. I am killing hoglins for food, and if I have a lava bucket, <sighs> it makes the process a lot easier. Lave, so yeah. having a lava bucket here is huge. So we I don't really need to go back to the portal to get one. Um, and there's hoglins right over there, which is perfect. Um, and now I can simply go over there and just grab their okay. Come here, hogs. Um, grab their kabooms. I guess I don't know. That's a bad out of context. Jeez. But yeah, Eternal luckily, revenge. because I know I had a Crimson Forest spawn here, I'm able to get food. Also, I use this strategy um, called Warped Fungus. Okay, so one Not of really the strategy, this I item called Warped too. Fungus. And Fucking this basically yeah. allows you to flawless a hoglet. And there's a lot of hoggos here, which is pretty convenient. And I use another I strategy for hog killing. Sure. Uh, I actually don't use a strategy here. Okay, it's where you tower up four blocks just, just and then place a lava in a specific way that it instantly kills them. But I don't do yeah, that strategy. Okay. Anyways, these guys are chasing this piglin. They don't really. They they really do not want this piglin alive. Um. 
And as you see there, I place on the warp room and get two free hits on the hog lane. Another free hit. No, that's such a good spot, away, though, the And it's just perfect, room. honestly. And yeah. Now right, I have team pork food. chops, I'm good on uh, food. Right, now I can now get bashes. the heck out of here. Two bashes, and I need correct. to just go to the second closest One of them bashes. was... So I'm making my second bash, which is also a freaking treasure. Two, um, I almost crapped my gold bars and the gold nuggets. Good job. Um, and the and issue no with wow. such um a bastion is that this um is the deadliest bastion for me as an individual not necessarily the deadliest bastion in speedrunning but i had the highest stuff. mortality rate while running treasure which basically means there is a very good chance i might die here which is really scary because if i die here again i'm going to spend even more time getting back and it's highly likely at this point i'm unable to sub hour no. What's even more inconvenient is I got basically no piglins uh, on this stupid okay. treasure bastion because of course um, treasure just hates me. I have a um, pearls. Nothing. We have a fancy. horrible relationship, me and treasure bastions. Sure. But notice that it, the uh, time has already reached 40 minutes, meaning I, I only have 20 minutes left to, to beat the game, which is really scary. Um, I make iron armor because I am scared I'm gonna die. And I, uh, this is just okay. gonna so I have, not die. Make like, an iron no axe. Pearls, just be really prepared. Pearls, so I'm not really comfortable. Um, with the that. piglins do finish trading. I, I only have four uh, pearls. Well, I think. Holy crap. That's a, that's and I here. have to waste time grabbing these two gold blocks because the yeah, stupid piglins didn't give me trades. So I have to do uh, this. Okay. And I do bottom treasure because it's highly unlikely I get the pearls I need from just two gold blocks. I have a feeling they're gonna roll me. So I go do bottom treasure as well, wasting another like two minutes. Or a nice, good one. Actually, really good. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Almost die again. It's gonna happen again. Um, they just want to repeat. Luckily, the Hoglins of what happened troll, last time or whatever. I don't know. The game one. Um, I'm not giving them that. How the some, freak did you get up here? Just jumps on here. It could have just done it the entire time. Magic. Started only now. Trickery. to Walk on the pillar. But anyways, I'm doing pretty fine, I guess. Um, break this, I break the spawner and I quickly this. trade with this guy or distract him rather, while I oh, loot wow. the heck out of this bastion. Oh, um, and then the guy actually. promptly forgets about me because I dropped a gold helmet. Wow. And yeah, I'm basically able to do bottom treasure pretty safely, um, and I just leave. And now I can trade the rest of the gold to the Leo. five piglins I have. Um, because I have no piglins, I literally let this guy um, walk I up here because I know for a There's fact nobody that up I need here, more right? piglins. Um, where did that no, come well, from? There is a dude up here now. So I break I this wall. I don't think there's anyone up here that would. And really I get them beat the training wall. To me, and time is ticking. Now I'm not. This is turning from a 40 minute bash and leaving to a 45 minute bash. Here, right? Which is obviously a horrible. The crossbow yeah. guy just dipped. Oh no. The, no. the crossbow guy's gone. Man. Only paper stacking. Where'd the crossbow And yeah, go? time is ticking. Like, well, My fortress is kind of far. It's 21 chunks um, away. Pretty, it's, although it's far, it's pretty average for uh, such another split. Uh, I am choking so hard. Really. Um, I for some reason take I some reason I keep the 64 gold in my inventory instead of trading it, unless that's a misplay. I think it's a misplay. Right, cool. Okay. Just like a full stack um, of gold on me, but so. I realize I do have right. enough Fulio. trades, so I just leave. Um, because I, I know this. for a fact, like, usually I do this really stupid slow thing where I trade uh, every single piece of coal they have for like more fires, more pearls, that I end up just not using at all during the run because I'm so good at Minecraft. Go. Um, but I know I run. push myself to leave here because I know you need to. I, I told myself you need to get the heck out of here or this is not sub hour. So now I literally have 16 minutes to beat the game. Oh, this when is I make it to my so called fortress, now, it's a treasure yeah. action, um, which is really, really bad. It's gonna be really hard to sub. So now I have uh, sub 14 sorry. minutes to beat the game, really and there's really no guarantee a fort's close to me. Honestly. From here, the fort could literally be 32 chunks hard. away. I have 15 minutes to beat um, the game. This treasure bastion scares the living daylights out of me because yeah, it's just like, dying that late I was guaranteed run. a small and spawner losing 21 chunks, by the which way, is just so like, brutal. Not it's the like, worst, right? It's bad, but it could have it could be. But it's not that long though, like. Now this treasure bastion, well, like, what was it? Like, now the mob spawner what? could be even further away oh, from me. But luckily, um, also I check for looting three um, sword just in case. 
um, and only got prop four pants, which is still fine, I guess. Um, really convenient. More armor, I guess. Less chance of dying. I actually have no fire as here, and I quickly throw that. And the pearl lands in lava. Holy crap. Nice try. Nice try, um, Minecraft. But nice try, luckily Minecraft. for me, nice ones are pearls. it's only 26 uh, chunks away. And string, too. Um, it could be 32. And food. I think I'm um, food. And it also could be I'm through a wall to dig through. But luckily, none Where of those things I'm happen. I get decent open terrain. It's not... Like preferably, it's not preferable because I kind of have this weird basalt wall in the way, and it's obviously just a basalt. But oh, I, I get somewhat open here. terrain, no wall bolt BS. <sighs> um, and I kind of, yeah, and then I think that's a fort leg right there, right? Is that the fort leg? I yeah, that's it. it right there. So at 50 minutes, I'm no entering the fortress. Right. Um, I'm actually very scared that the gas may shoot me while I'm in the lava, and you actually can't, you can't move fast, fast enough to, to avoid the gas fireball. Yeah. Um, I, there's a clip um, I've seen of Find somebody being in lava in a Minecraft speedrun, and they just got deleted because they couldn't do anything against the gas fireball. Um, yes. Luckily, I do end up killing the gas here, and um, at a 49 minutes and 8 seconds, I enter the fortress. I have 11 minutes to right, kill my blazes, find the stronghold, and beat the dragon. Can I do it? <sighs> also, this stronghold, sorry, fortress, is above lava and is in a soul sand, so I can do this strategy to get more spawns, which will help uh, save some time in my fort split. Also, I made two gold pickaxes just in case I hit a wall. I get unlucky with my low RD strat. Nothing spawns. Very unlucky, but um, I can't find my flint seal. Great. I managed to make it on nether, right, it's now minutes 51 through, minutes, 9 minutes remaining, lobby. but I have 4 blaze rods, which is um, about more than half of the blaze rods I need. Um, and okay. I can craft my eyes of ender, and find the stronghold using 2 eye throws. At 52 minutes, I'm back in the nether, I don't think I have the explosives to blaze bed, I do, I'm just a coward. Um... Oh, so, okay. anyways, I make sure I have enough for a bow, and the spawner kind of doesn't actually, no, the spawner's actually fine, I thought I was going to troll a bit, but luckily it doesn't, um, I just need one more blaze rod, this guy just fortunately does not one. give it to me, oh. there's a All chance right, that 124 blocks can literally be inside a wall and I have to mm -hmm. dig to it, which wastes a ton of time, but luckily, my luck doesn't well, it doesn't mm. suck that much. It's still pretty sucky, but I managed uh, to make it 17 blocks, blocks, blocks away from blind boards, and I have the gold picks from earlier, so There's I'm completely wall, fine here. Um, I dig through this netherrack wall, um, and um, I quickly make my way up to the blind boards, and at 54 um, minutes, I enter the stronghold. I have 6 minutes to stronghold nav and beat the game, which is completely doable um, I have half bow meaning there's no chance the dragon can roll me or there's a very small chance the dragon can roll me my stronghold doesn't suck does it suck oh my stronghold does suck to. jeez you? um and I have had runs where I spent six minutes in the stronghold trying to find the portal room and I think it's gonna oh, happen here and I'm gonna lose the sub hour but luckily I go down to yeah, the doors yeah, and I yeah. find the portal room. At 55 Not minutes, with zero. 5 minutes to spare, I enter the, nether, enter the end. 5 minute end split is really bad. It's extremely unlucky, and it's even more unlucky if you're using um, half bow. So at I this point, I'm no way kind have of in the clear. Not exactly 100% in the clear, but I'm even slightly so, in the clear, and I should it's be good now. On my pearl at center fountain, eat the pork chop. Didn't throw any I shoot out some pillars. And I look at the dragon here, and oh. it's doing something called an east-west perch, meaning it's starting a perch approach, meaning that I am, if I don't miss this one cycle here, and I have like I have like ten explosives, if I mess this one cycle up, I might as well just eat the sub hour because I'm garbage. But this is a perch approach, meaning um, this thing will perch in the next minute, minimum. Okay, and I see well, it here, and I'm like, okay, we're good. I go we pearl down the, and the I just stuff. get okay. ready for the cycle. Uh, so I do um actually okay. I actually choke this really hard, but um like this. I do an extra obby thing. Uh wait, what have I done? 
This is an okay. auto setup for That's east-west fine. perches. Um, and finally, it's one hour in-game time. It eats the bed because the setup sucks. But it's low enough for me to finish off with the bed. And just like that, oh, it doesn't die. Wow. Bro. Jeez. It's really low. Um, Dude, but right. It's gonna heal from that tower right there, right? So I need oh, to break no. that ASAP. I have three minutes throwing for content. Um, I took the shot from the tower. It's oh, healing, which is really bad. We're not gonna get There's the another high tower up there that nice. I didn't shoot because I thought it was perching. Um, and okay. I, what is that? Narrow. Yep. I shoot this other tower. I now have hit the iron cell. I now have. Oh, is it perching? It's not perching. I now have two minutes and thirty seconds left. Huh. Um, yeah, so the issue with this is that it will, um, it, it does, it does like to, uh, do weird things sometimes. So here it actually per- it per- it doesn't perch, actually, it doesn't perch, that's a fake perch approach. I'm trying to get this last crystal down before it can- before it heals too much, and I'm missing my shots, I'm choking so hard. Um, two minutes left. I don't know, man, the jumping is weird. I keep missing! Oh my goodness! Look how far the arrow goes if you jump. I keep missing. Me, actually. Um, I think it has but momentum. luckily here, no, I hit it, it and the dragon perches at the same time. Oh, and I think okay, I'm gonna clear here. I quickly tail my bets, um, and I place them down on this obby thing, and I blow them up, and the dragon's dead! 58 minutes, 17 oh, seconds. It dies. There's a 10 second gap Sub between hour. Never it dying and the portal opening. And I get the sub hour with just a minute oh, and like 30 seconds yeah. left. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Yep, <laughs> GG. And I just instantly just end the recording there. I'm out of here. <laughs> that was intense. That was very intense. What is this? Oh, Dream's video has a thumbnail of him just eating a steak. What? Okay. Nice. Um, but yeah, that was insane that was intense but it got the sub hour which is pretty nice yeah ggs on run 231 i was traveling to the bastion when i saw this enderman over here i looked at the enderman and it did some really We're weird pathfinding and two endermen instantly spawned here on my left so i have three endermen in the nether and this is not a warp biome so it's very rare to have a bunch of endermen spawning like that um, the other enderman, I don't know what happened, so I can it get disappeared, me. but I got one in a boat, and I cleared it out, looked at the other one, um, the other guy and yeah, I just got some free ender pearls, uh, unless I didn't get a pearl, I'm not too sure, but yeah, I did get a pearl, yep, the other one and... Anyways, I was doing a typical treasure bastion route, when, um, why do I feel like there's a bunch of them stuck in this hole again? Okay, so how do I do this? I need to go over here, box this off, and then just place blocks. Okay, uh, you guys are all here now. I need you to get the gold. Okay, this is slightly an issue. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna... Okay, I'm gonna punch one of these dudes. They all drop down, right? I throw the gold boots there. They go for it. They're just. So, um, I don't know what that was. Usually there are no piglins that spawn up here. They're not supposed to spawn here, basically. Um, they're not supposed to be able to get up there. Um, so that's just an unlucky thing. I tried doing, um, a, a route to get the piglins back in the hole. Unfortunately, they de at the wrong time, so they couldn't get in the trading hole, and then that happened. Um, so yeah, really great treasure bastion. This is why I love this bastion. It's freaking horrible. Also, I love this bastion. I mean in a sarcastic way. This bastion sucks and I hate it. 
So I found another treasure bastion, which was a very unlucky. All right, and it's so here's what I'm gonna do. This. I'm going to pearl the no, I pearl here, then pearl there. Okay. Frick! What? Uh, excuse me. What? So this is very weird because okay. then pearl there. Um, if you okay. notice here, I paused and lowered my render distance, meaning that now. The pearl should be unloaded, but it landed regardless. Meaning they probably land at the same time or something. And the game was waiting to take me to this pearl. And it lowered my render too late. I'm not too sure, but... Frick, uh, excuse me! Which is why I said excuse what? me, because it made no sense. Because I paused at the did I Did time. I not pause? Um, like what? But yeah, that was fun. Um, however, this time I actually managed to do okay. it. Great job. Um... Yeah, that was funny. So on this run, I blinded into the stronghold with only one cook pork chop and two chicken. Um, and normally in an today I would just enter the end like it's not hard to um, beat the dragon with one cook pork chop and two chicken. That's actually pretty that's a pretty good amount of food. But I kind of wanted food, so I don't have, like, enough food. conveniently. Oh, convenient. Yeah, that happened, which was pretty convenient. Very, very convenient, actually. A lot of free food right there. Also a free piece of bread. Very convenient. Great stuff. Okay, cool. And to prove my point, I only ate one golden apple and uh, one pork chop. Um, and one piece of bread, I guess, before I beat the run, which I guess is still... Could be doable with two chicken and um, two chicken and one pork chop. So I didn't really need the food, but oh well, it was funny to just have a minecart chest in the stronghold, which is arguably really rare, and that gave me the food I needed for the run. So that was fun. That was hilarious. Yeah. Next one's on death. Very cool. Okay. So on run two thirty two, the next run, I spawn next to um a. a Completable rune Dude, portal, or rather a rune IQ portal plays, bro. that allows me to enter the nether. And right next to that was a village, so that's really cool. Very, very neat. Um, you see right here, well, there's like a village. Sword or a sword and better, but and you know, even better, really this village had a blacksmith. If you look okay, um, cool somewhere, really there's a blacksmith. Really What's pretty funny is that I didn't notice um, a blacksmith at all until I went up this hill. What? Where? Bruh. I swear, this thing actually was good. Okay, never mind. Luckily, there wasn't really much in the blacksmith other than some random there, so obsidian, which Dude, so isn't really useful. Like, for example, if there was an iron pig in there, I would have slapped myself in the head, because then I wouldn't have had to mine in a cave for iron. But there wasn't. Dude, I, so, not, I did not see the fact that I had a furnace in the pie. I'm so fine. And yeah, with that, I go back to this room portal over here. Um, and just like that, I'm able to enter the nether. Yippee. So, my room portal gave me three gold blocks, which is very cool. Okay, that's insane. And I see these three piglins over here, and I have 28 gold. Sorry, my room portal gave me three gold blocks, not three gold. Um, so I have 28 gold ingots, which is a lot. Um, so I go over these piglins. And I decided to task overlap finding the fortress with trading with these guys because they have a chance to give me ender pearls, fire res, or just get a head start on my piglin trades. I can like task overlap a few of them. Um, hi guys, I would like you all to get into this hole and trade this with me. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Okay, uh, let me try to figure out what the hell is. So that was pretty cool. And the picking trees were kind of paid off. I got two pieces of fire res, which was really useful. And it basically just allowed me to travel um, over some lava lakes instead of bridging, which was really useful. So as you can see here, I want to go in this direction for for a uh, reason I forgot. Is that a fortress? I have no clue. But this fire res allows me to... Jump into the lava. And just, just walk. <laughs> Or waddle, or whatever you want to just swim across a lava lake, which is really useful. I love Minecraft yeah. speedrun. Uh, so, anyways, I found this housing oh, bastion, except I had no gold armor, so I almost died here to this piglin, which who could have easily knocked me in lava. 
Um, I only have iron armor here, but I have some gold yeah, ore I can use to distract the people in. So I play this pretty well. Okay, you take that. Okay, no Okay, uh, this is gonna be fine. Uh, where's the mid thing? I try to find the chest, which is right over there, and they break this, and I do basically the housing mid route, whatever you want to call it. Um, and basically just doesn't make a ton of piglins very easily. Um, I loot this chest, get some stuff, and just do the route like normal. I got a decent amount of pigs this time, which is pretty nice. Usually when I do this route, I get like no pigs, which is super annoying. But yeah, so far I'm playing this match really well. So anyways, during this run, I was in a call with my friends, I think. I, uh, I said caught. he was talking. I think someone else in the call as well. But, um, okay. guys, watch this. I'm gonna look at an eye very carefully. He just throws, like, two eyes and then goes back to the nether, goes there, and then just blinds it. I don't have enough obby. I'm, like, I'm, like, really sad. I didn't get enough obby. <clears throat> I should have checked up in the bastion, but I just saw the pearls, and I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, can't you, like, calculate the... Like curve or direction. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I am, I am. Oh. I'm, I, I literally, I literally got a new strategy. I'm using Windows magnifier and zooming into the eye. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no. The first time someone did this, they took a screenshot, went into Windows Paint, and zoomed in on the pixels. It took them like oh. 16 minutes to measure one eye. Bro. Wait, I actually, I actually don't. I actually, I actually need to run away. Okay, let me just let me just run on like 40 million miles this way. Just give me a sec. So, anyways, me and my friends were on the call and decided to <laughs> show the ninja main bot, which will be really funny. Uh, uh, I didn't I, end up I doing that. Wait, oh, guys, guys, hear out, hear, hear me out, okay? The stronghold is in the chunk negative 207 262. Run there. I know, I am going to. It's 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 13 it's 1326 blocks away. See, I see how good I am at predicting this. I'm, I'm like, I'm like a psychic. Okay, I, I know that the. Also, I told them to yell if they saw my fire has run out, just because we're in the Nether and swimming in a lava lake, and my fire has runs out, I will die. So I told them to yell when my fire has run out, and. <laughs> no more fire guys. Stop. I fire is. It's okay. You can stop. <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna light myself on fire! Oh no! If you get stuck by lightning, you're gonna die. Oh no, I lit myself on fire! What will I ever do? Oh, no. What are you gonna do? What am I ever gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Having friends on the call definitely makes it a lot more fun. Anyways, I was traveling the swamp and I decided to place down a lily pet, and well... You don't- you don't want everyone- What?! I, I mentioned everyone. I placed- I had one lily pad, and I placed two. Dude, wait, I'm in again! What is happening? What the fuck? What? Lily pad dupe glitch. What? What? Lily pad dupe glitch. So if you notice here, when I broke that lily pad, I actually didn't drop one. I don't know what happened here, because uh, it's probably a ghost block, but I don't know why it happened so many times in a row. Um, but apparently lily pad placing just got scuffed, and I placed down two lily pads, which I think was really funny, because, yeah, that, 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 that caused that to happen. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty funny two glitch, and my reaction was hilarious. Guys, I think so, the stronghold's here. I, I have a feeling the stronghold's here, guys. I think not. I think There's the stronghold's game. here. I think that's remember, if you don't beat the game in two minutes, then you're the worst player ever. Dude, you don't- you can't beat the game in two minutes while you're digging down the stronghold. Nobody yes, has you done can. that. Nobody has done that. Not even the world record. Actually, the, yeah, the world record uses a notion exposed one. Just get better. <laughs> <laughs> I, guys, look, I found the stronghold. Too good. It's so simple, just get better. Yeah, exactly. Where? Hello? Okay, no, I found it. Okay. Guys, I think the portal room's behind me. Go and then turn. What the frick? Guys, I think the portal room's behind me. I think it's this way. No, it's... It's to the left. It's to the left. Oh! oh. Spider! To the left. Dude. Mine one more block. 
No, that's not how the stronghold generates. Mine a block. I don't I'll mine a block. There you go. No, I, yeah, I told you it's this way, alright? Now it's to the left. Yeah, it probably is. Honestly, you're probably right. Go down there and then the stronghold. Fuck. Break the block, it's open down. Anyways, um I would the end slow is going pretty normal until I did this. Diagnosis skill machine though. Damn! Wait, no! Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Hi. <laughs> okay, uh, where? Okay. We are okay. We are doing fine. Oh, fuck. I can't throw a pearl. Oh, okay. Dude! You know, I could have thrown a pearl. I'm actually dumb. That's fine. So, um, I bridged here. I fell off the bridge and looked at an enderman at the same time. I almost died of fall damage, and then I almost died here, and the dragon perched. So, I didn't want to throw a pearl here because I thought it would die during the one cycle. I actually wouldn't have because I have enough armor to not die during the one cycle, but I just got scared and took it out. We are doing and yeah, that was a great job by me, I guess. I don't know. That's a big one. And, um, the dragon melees me. I almost die. I almost died again, the dragon melees me AGAIN! And I got very close to dying there, but somehow I'm alive, so that's cool. Yeah, that, that was a great end split, by the way. Good job. Luckily, the dragon instantly flies to the perch position, for like no reason whatsoever. Um, and... The run ends off pretty simply with wait okay no i thought i was gonna i thought i was gonna eat the bed for a second i was like no way but the runs are pretty easily with the nice little one cycle here and the run is complete with that that's the end of the video thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next 1785 speedruns video hopefully and yeah dude okay good bye